This year, the Bitcoin ecosystem has given many people renewed hope for the cryptocurrency. During the time of inscriptions and originals, many wealth legends were created. However, as time passed, the hype has cooled down. For Bitcoin miners, the ancient gas phase uh, consumption during that period brought substantial profits, even exceeding the block rewards by several times. But have people considered this? There are still 1.25 million Bitcoins left to mine, and they are expected to be fully mined by the year of 2140. Once all the Bitcoins have been mined and there are no more coins to mine, how will Bitcoin mining machines remain profitable? How will the security of the Bitcoin network continue to be maintained? What will the future revenue model of Bitcoin look like? Perhaps the answer lies in today's video. Hello guys, welcome to Matt Loban and Kervin. Actively embracing the ecosystem is crucial for everyone involved in Web3. However, the diversity of ecosystem projects can often be overwhelming. It is undeniable that both Ethereum and Sonala has achieved significant success in ecosystem development, creating wealth building opportunities for many people, whether through uh, secondary market trading or primary market investments. Bitcoin, often compared to the gold world, is a crucial asset in market circulation. When people think about its utility, they may simply conclude that Bitcoin can be sold for money and that's all about it. The most well-known way to obtain Bitcoin through mining, followed by purchasing Bitcoin on exchanges. Profitability in these cases largely depends on market price uh, fluctuations. As we all know, the current ratio of Bitcoin mining costs to profits is not very favorable. So generating additional income is a key focus for miners. In this video, let's talk about a potential new ray of hope or an opportunity that may have emerged during the darkest times for Bitcoin miners, Fractal Bitcoin. <laughs> exactly can you participate in this project? You can join our Telegram group to get more information. The Fractal Bitcoin uh, mainnet went live on 9th September. We will be sharing the latest upgrade on FB in the group, along with a series of tutorials such as wallet address binding. Alright, let's get back to the main topic. I think there is no need to explain too much about the technology behind the Fractal Mine Bitcoin to miners. As most of them might not be interested, they are more concerned with whether they can make money from it. However, I will still provide some basic knowledge about its potential and reliability. First of all, why do we need Fractal Bitcoin? Let's discuss two points. The first one is if Bitcoin miners want to earn revenue beyond the regular block rewards from mining, then the public chain needs to have participants using relevant technologies to build an ecosystem. This way, more people can get involved in this project, consuming um, Bitcoin as gas phase, similar to how inscriptions and ordinals worked at that time. So why hasn't Bitcoin developed an excellent ecosystem like Ethereum or Solana? It's because Bitcoin's on-chain speed is very congested, and the transaction fees are quite high. Even though there are many Bitcoin holders, the public chain's basic infrastructure isn't suitable for ecosystem developers uh, to build and develop on. Therefore, a solution is needed to help Bitcoin's highway achieve faster traffic and lower toll fees, essentially turning it into a superhighway. If Bitcoin miners want to keep their running machines running sustainably, they must ensure that every Bitcoin mining machine is profitable. Therefore, beyond block rewards, building an ecosystem is the second way for Bitcoin. This is why many people are optimistic about Bitcoin's Layer 2 and BRC20. Previously, we were mining gold, but now what we need to do is turn the mining gold into jewelry. These two points explain why we need the technology behind Fractal Bitcoin. So what are the specific technical features of Fractal Bitcoin? Core technology, it uses Bitcoin's core code, directly leveraging the security and reliability of the Bitcoin blockchain. Expansion method, recursive expansion layer is used to create a tree structure, increasing the network's parallel processing capacity. Performance enhancement, block confirmation time is around 30 seconds, with transaction processing capability 20 times that of Bitcoin's main chain. Compatibility, fully compatible with existing Bitcoin wallets, tools, and mining equipment. Mining methods, supports both um, permissionless mining and merge mining. Security, 
all transactions are ultimately traceable back to the Bitcoin main chain, ensuring security and variability. Dynamic adjustment, the number of expansion layers can automatically adjust based on the network's congestion level. Perhaps some of you may not fully understand it, but that's okay, you don't need to do. Let's focus on what we can gain by participating. First of all, the total supply of fractal Bitcoin is 210 million. 50% of that or 105 million is allocated to miners. The token name is FB with a block time of 30 seconds and a reward of 25 FB per block. The mainnet launch data is September 9th. 2024. What is the mining mechanism? The first day is solo mining, a combination of permissionless mining and merged mining. Each cycle consists of three blocks, with two blocks generated through permissionless mining and one block through merged mining. I need to explain it to miners. FB mining has two modes. The first is permissionless mining, which allows any user with suitable mining hardware to participate, similar to mining a new coin. This is suitable for miners uh, who only want to mine FB. Any machine supporting the SHA-256 algorithm, which includes all Bitcoin mining uh, machines on the market, whether GPU or ASIC can mine FB. Supported pools are solo mining, meaning you will need to configure it by yourself. For specific details, feel free to join our Telegram group to get more information. The second is merchant mining, designed specifically for Bitcoin miners. Uh, it allows you to mine two coins simultaneously without affecting Bitcoin hash rate or profits. This is suitable for miners who want to mine both BDC and FB. The mining machine requirement is any mainstream BDC miners, and supported pools include Spider Pool and etc. So, why is participating in FB mining so important for current Bitcoin miners? First of all, after the FB mainnet goes live on September 9th, Spider Pool will launch a zero fee event. During the event, 100% of the FB mined will go to the miners, and BTC mining will also have zero fees, lasting for 90 days. We are closely uh, following this, and the machines managed by Loban will also be migrating their hash rate to Spider Pool to gain FB rewards. Currently, Fractal Bitcoin offers miners an irresistible opportunity. Regardless of how much FB will be worth, uh, after its launch, it will undoubtedly provide miners with additional income without increasing any operational costs. This is absolutely a great deal for all Bitcoin miners right now. Secondly, if Bitcoin is to rise to a very favorable price, an ecosystem boom would be the real guaranteed livelihood for miners. After all the Bitcoin is mined, the ancient gas phase may become the final form of increase for miners. The entire fractal Bitcoin ecosystem includes, but is not limited to, stable coins, DeFi applications, ordinals, large-scale games, and more. If BTC develops an ecosystem on the scale of Ethereum or Solana, both minor revenues and the coin's price will exceed your expectations. But whether this project will turn out as we hope, let's wait and see. Additionally, regarding the price of FB, the current over-the-counter price has reached as high as 20 USD per token, which I believe is an exciting figure. Although the limited circulating supply has driven up the oldest price, there is no doubt that this price reflects the enthusiasm of the current investors for the fractal Bitcoin project. What's the most important is its promising profitability. Early miners, in particular, uh, stand to claim a significant share of the rewards. We understand that the current miner costs uh, pressures are significant, and the price fluctuations of the entire project depend on the balance between buying and selling volumes. I anticipate that miners uh, will likely adopt a strategy of mining, withdrawing and selling FB. In the initial phase of the project's launch, the project team also needs some selling to increase liquidity. If there is strong buying power, the price will rise. This depends on investors' expectations of the project. If buyers believe the pro uh, project's uh, prospects are very promising and there is high demand for FB in the market, such as for interacting with the ecosystem as gas phase, then the price should increase. From a miner's perspective, no matter how low the FB price is, I will still mine it. On one hand, I believe there is no problem with Bitcoin miners supporting the ecosystem. On the other hand, even if the reward is small, it's still extra income with no additional cost. So why not to take it? If you find this video is useful for you, please like our video. And you can also join our Telegram group for more information. I'm Kervin. See you next time.